Hey guys, uh, back again doing the uh, set review for Dragon's Maze. We're going over the green cards today. And we have the Battering Crassus of 3 mana 2 1 with Trample and Evolve. Well, I think that, you know, it's a card that you want to have Evolve on it, you know, because. I think you kind of have to have Evolve for this card. <laughs> yeah. You know, this card, this card reminds me of the guy from Time Spiral, the. Uh, when it deals damage to a player, put a counter on it, the one will trample. Hmm, yeah. But see, this one doesn't have to deal damage to the counters. So I mean, like... Yeah, but it doesn't really do anything until... True, true. It has to get counters to get through. I understand. I think this is going to be really... Uh, bro, I, I don't... Depends as, on the format. As, as for the set, I don't, I'm not proud enough to play them. Because there's a because by the time you get him to that level, your opponent's gonna play something bigger on the turn that he can attack, yeah. and you're just like, well, he's gonna sit here for a little bit longer and they get so. So, mm. as for my experience of other formats, I say nay to this card, but I wish it could be better. If it costs what if it cost it be either cost had one less. cost one less, or had higher toughness. Yeah. Just toughness. It would be fine. Uh, Crowd Warrior. Uh, it's Burr. The Burr. That, that's well, all it is. No, this may, this actually will come in, in, into play. <sighs> Maybe a really late game. No, this that will actually come into play. 36. Yeah, that will come into play. Because I... Um, Darth Thicker Wolf was really good, and this is essentially the same thing as Darth Thicker Wolf for the set, because it's really slow. Possibly. It's a, it's a bear with an upside. But bear's upside is always good. It's a bear. So it's a bear. No, it's not. Well, it's, it's a better bear. Mending touch. Regenerate. Oops. Stupid mouse. <laughs> a regenerate target creature for edge infant speed for one green mana. Um, cards like this are always printed. There was one back in ta in Future Sight that said for two mana regenerate all creatures you control. Yeah. I don't uh, this card's way worse. <laughs> right. Uh, I I I really don't like it because it's so situational, and it's, you know you don't have creatures out because of removal spells, and it's like, oh, dead draw. This is this is a this has to be a sideboard card against an opponent who's playing all the removal dot deck, and it has to be. Not the minus four, minus two card. Yeah. So and and not play blue and bouncer stuff. So. I I just moved it. There go. Okay. Mouse pad, yay. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm good. Good. Okay. I'm good. Uh, Maze Behemoth, the uh, the green one that adds trample to all your multicolored creatures. Hmm. I like this one. This is one of. I think this is. Uh, I think this is... Have him in the black one, and then you're like, hold him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trample that touch, bitches. What are you doing now? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I kill five of your creatures. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mutant's Prey. Target creature you control with a 1-1 counter on it. Fight certain creature your opponent's control. This is like the worst prey pawn I've ever seen. Yeah. Because it doesn't work if you don't have a one counter on a creature. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh hey, do this, and then they your opponent I think is there a way for your opponent to remove counters in this in limited right now? Biomass. Oh, Bioshift also Bio does. Bioshift, that's what I meant. Bioshift. Yeah. Bioshift does that. So it's like So if they remove the counters it wouldn't work anymore? Yeah. Great. That that seems like an awesome card right there for limited. Sarcasm. Okay. Uh, so no, no to this. It it's a build it's a build around card, and build around cards like this are bad because you have to you don't want to build around a common that the removal stuff. Uh, Fido burst. Uh, five, it's uh Titanic growth. Uh, Sorcery speed. For an additional. Yeah. Which is. I'm okay with that. I don't like sorcery speed. Thomas. I like combat tricks, not 
outside of combat. Big deal or something. I'm okay with it because it's such a huge bonus. It's almost double gigantic uh, giant growth. Yeah. I don't know. I just I'm just a fan, more fan of an instant speed. Oh, well, they had to do that. They had to make it sort of serious. Oh, for plus five, plus five, and two mana. Yeah. I am. I'm well and, aware. And I'm okay with it. And plus, a lot of, like I've seen. So far, we've already seen two green creatures with Trample, and we've only gone over like like six cards. True. So. And we're probably going to hit another one. Uh, Saruli Gatekeepers. Uh, 4 mana 2 4 that gains you 7 life. Um, mm. I like this one. This is like one of. This is like rank 2 for me. Really? Yeah. I think the second best one. I mean, I feel like. It it's it's going to be somewhat dependent on how many gates there are. How many gates you have. Well, that's to how good these gatekeepers are. Personally, that's you're, how I feel. Well, so. for the sealed event, you're getting four for the pre release. Yeah, for the pre release. You're getting four of them automatically. So you're at least. You have, like, whatever the percentage chance of getting a shop land is. Yeah. And Dragon and Maze's End, you have the Guild Gates instead. You're I'm guaranteed essentially to get a Guild Gate. I'm aware. And also, you get a Guild Gate in every Gate Crash and Rampage Attack. Pretty much. Like you have like a 90% chance of getting one. So you have. Like. Uh, it, it, you're getting the, at least one. Sealed, yeah. I you also, and also in draft, you're also. Yeah, maybe. No, draft, you're I'm guaranteed. I always end up getting three. Okay. At least. So. Well, you get three. How many times do you have two by the time you have the four? Year? That's all I'm saying. How many times do you see two of them? Why do you think this one's so good? The game's just seven life. I know, but you don't see two of them when you play a lot, even if you have three in the deck. That, that's what I'm saying. You're not me, though. I have that luck. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, like, if you only have three, sometimes you don't even see those three cards. That's okay. Yeah, but it's a 2 4 for 4 is how it's it. The ability is going to be really rare to me. Okay. Yeah, not not with it's not with Dragon's Maze. But the reason why this ca this card came in Dragon these the cycle of cards came in Dragon's Maze where all of them don't come with a basic land, but instead they come with a gate or a shot range or basically. Which okay. fetches for gates. Uh Re Renegade Crassus, uh this is essentially the Crassus Overlord, the Evolve Overlord. Yeah. Um I don't like this because it says when it evolves, not when it gets the one one counter. Yeah, and it only uses it to other creatures with one one counters. Yeah. I wish it would evolve my whole team. If it said creatures with evolve get this, I'd be or so that. I'd yeah. that'd be so much better. Yeah, but they have to already have a counter. Yeah. Which is okay. I, I, I guess you could trigger it so the your other guys evolve first and then this guy goes off. No. Whenever he evolves, he gets to counter, and then everything else gets to counter. Well, I mean, like, if your other creatures evolve from the same creature, you can trigger the evolves, so they have to. Ooh! Get two of these, you have infinite power, by the way. Oh, oh never mind. That, that's why they did that. Because if you had it where they get a 1-1 counter, it goes infinite if you have two of them. Right. That's that, why it's whenever it's evolved. Aw. Okay. <laughs> we understand, Wizards. We see what you did. <laughs> Disclaimer, do not go infinite with this card. Skylasher, this is like my favorite card ever in the set. That's an awesome flash bear. The flash bear that can't be countered all sets protection from blue and reach. I love it. Uh it is a rare though. That's okay. I know, but it's still This is gonna it. be seen in standard. I believe so. Yeah. You know, it, it can do a lot. We do have the there is that bug aggro deck. That tier two bag bug aggro deck that we're running actually, yeah, perfectly fine with this card in it because you don't scavenge with blue creatures. <laughs> yeah, it's scavenge with blue creatures. Yeah, and for black. And if you this can't and also this can't be Azorius Charm or bounced or detention <laughs> sphere. Yeah, so that seems pretty good to me. They have to block with their 
centaur healers or their restoration angels or their thread tusk when it has three counters on it. Seems pretty busy. So, yeah, that'll be a, this is gonna be all star before rotation, even. Threshing Moss Dog. It's a four mana three three with reach, and also a scavenge. I like it. I like it for a four four with, with or a three three for four with reach. Yeah, I like it a lot. And also, it's like it gets everything. It also has the upside. <laughs> this is pretty close to it. though. Yeah. Everything just costs one more and it doesn't have haste, it has reach with it. Right. So, and also it's all easier to cast. Yeah. So, yay! Mm -hmm. Green cards, we'll be right back with the uh, artifacts and lands and etc. And we're back with the artifacts. Uh, we're going to combine the videos. Uh, so we're going to go over the clue stones real quick and the lands. Uh, all the clue stones tap for one mana of each of the guilds. Oh my god. You all heard that. <laughs> uh, we're also going to talk about our favorite one. Or my favorite one at least. I don't know if he has a favorite. I don't really have a favorite. Okay. And this is all just on fiber text. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. we're also going to go over uh, the lands of the set, which is just two of them. So... Uh, my favorite one is the Boros Clue Stone because of the flavor text. Uh, in case of fire, treachery, citywide riot, political upheaval, or worldwide social societal collapse, break glass. Yeah. It's the if anything ever ever goes wrong ever in the entire world, break, break this, glass. break glass, and you're fine. Yeah. All of this instant world peace apparently. But like he was saying, each each Clue Stone taps for. The color of the mana, and then you can pay one of each color and tab it to sack it to draw a card. Yeah. That's how all the keystones are. They're all cost three mana. Yeah. Okay, and then we're going to go over the lands. Scroll down real quick. Uh, all of the lands, uh, the pictures that of the original uh, sets uh, had were just a zoomed in pick part of it. You didn't see the entire picture. And now you get to see what the entire pitch image was, and it's so awesome that they did that. Yeah, I love I love the Rakdos one personally. I think my favorite one, uh, which shot which might surprise you, is let's see where'd it go. Not the Orsov, but it's the Selesnio one. This yeah. is my favorite. Okay. Oh, and uh, the Rakdos one is a play mat. Yeah, I love it. the Rakdos one. It does have that feel. Yeah, it's... And it's if you guys don't, can't tell, the picture of Rakdos is actually just this big. That's what the original picture <laughs> was. Yeah. You got that much. I feel like this is like so much... It's like... Rawr. It's like... You want the demon to come out of here. You, you, want, you want just giant wings to just, like, explode out of the sides. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then we're going to go over the only non-basic land that's not a gate. Uh, Maze's End. Uh, this is going to be what... Peop this is essentially the Exodia of magic. If you get one of each gate, and after you activate this ability, it doesn't have to be... It's not instantly in when they're in play, either. You yeah. have to activate this ability, and, ha and w when it resolves, you win. But it's like... But it, it's also a guaranteed land drop sometimes. Yep. It's, uh... So, I mean, it can the be The reference is always going to be made that it's thawing Glacier for mm -hmm. guild gates and not basic lands. Um, what I what I don't like about this, about Maze's End, is first off, it comes in the play tapped. And secondly, it costs three men to do this ability, and not one. And also, all the lands it fetches for come into play tapped as well. Well, it puts in the battlefield tapped anyway. Yeah, right. but, but yeah. it does. Oh, it just says on the battlefield. Never mind. Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, it puts on the battlefield tapped because it's searching for a gate. 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's why. Oh, and uh, if you guys haven't noticed, there's only nine pillars, and there's only there's supposed to be ten guilds. Yeah. One, one, two, three, four, five. I, I guess there's one right, right here. Six, seven, six, seven eight. One of these things just doesn't belong here. But that one's off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh. Like I wasn't kidding. Yeah. There's so only, there's so which guild is in there? Uh, they actually there was actually a zoomed in picture, and I think it was. I I saw Demir on here of all things. Okay. I think Izet wasn't on here if I remember correctly. Ooh, interesting. Oh. I'll pull it up later and have have it in the flavor text. But yeah, uh, that's it for the set review uh, so far. Now we have only multicolored, so my favorite. Yep. And I think I want to combine all the videos for that as well. So we might have just one more video on Thursday and just get it all done, and we can have everyone everything ready for the previous on this weekend. It's gonna be a long video. That's okay. It's only seventy five cards. Did you see the last video I posted? It was a it was an hour and twenty minutes. It was, only, it was only half the cards. <laughs> only half the multicolored. Mm. Okay. Alright, well, that's it. Okay. See you guys later.